Oh, you look dog rough. Late night, was it? Just do one, will ya? It's charming. He's such a scumbag. All right, Chesel. Why don't you go back to whatever cave you crawled out of? Oh, Ches, please, come on, leave it. Do I have to? Quite like it, eh? Gemma told me about breaking into that house and you taking the blame. All right. Told you everything, did she? She told me she regrets it, yeah. Look, just because you took the rap for it doesn't mean you can make a life in misery. It's not fair what you're doing to her. You're as stupid as you look. Do you know that? You're an idiot. You need to do one right now. Just walk away. For me. Stay away from Gemma, Everything yeah? All right, gents. Quaking in my boots here, mate. As an ex-council employee and litter enforcement officer, I suggest you move along. Gladly. Tell me again why I agreed to help out with this wretched community market. Quick full on, is it? Hello. Morning, morning. Oh, it's dull work, Miss Charity Lark. I thought you could do with something to brighten the place up a bit. Oh, my favourite. Hey, not just a fit bod, got a sixth sense. Right, what can I crack on with? Hold on to. There are some uh, bags of clothes down there. If you like, you can sort through them, make sure there's no underwear. Oh, sounds fun. Or, or you could just make the brews. Anything for you. I'll get sorting. You brew up. Uh, how'd you take it? Uh, milk, no sugar. I'm sweet enough. Not from what I've seen. <laughs> Oh, he's in a foul mood. A, um, a spinach and cheese omelette, please. Right, loads, loads of spinach. Everything all right? I'm not having a very good day. To cap it all up now, I've snapped at poor Eileen. Oh, sure, she'll forgive you. Yeah, right. You've not got any of that banging black pudding off you. I do have black pudding, yes. Oh, great. Shove some of that on a bam. Loads of Tommy K. Very well. You, uh, you can tell us what's up. I seem to have lost a very valuable item belonging to my mother, Sir Rick. Ah, oh, I'm sorry. I believe it's of quite rare design. What, like Lord of the Rings rare? Not quite. My, my knowledge is limited, but from the quality of the gold to the diamonds, I'd say its value must be, what, three, perhaps four thousand pounds, but of course that, that is nothing compared to its sentimental value. I don't suppose by some uh, miracle that you have come across it. No, no, sorry, I haven't seen it, but I can ask Paul, um, and he's been helping out, he might have yeah. found it and put it with the rest of the jewellery. Yeah, three guesses where that ring's gone, begins with a P, ends in trouble. Look, Roy lost it, he said so. I just you really want to be going and blaming Paul again. I know what he's like. It's nice. Yeah, looks like proper sparkly diamonds to me. So what do you reckon? Close, but no cigar. Don't get me wrong, it's a lovely ring, classy. But these aren't diamonds. They're posh bits of glass buffed up to sparkle. I'm not saying I can't shift it. I'll give you 150 quid. 200. <sighs> you drive a hard bargain. Go on, then. 200 quid. Yeah. 200 smackaroos, please. 